It's Friday night. It's nine o'clock. It can mean only one thing. It's time for the mail. Hello. For, oh, God, it's bright again, isn't it? I don't know what's going on with my camera settings, but it's doing my nutting. I fixed this. I did fix this. I fixed this literally a couple of minutes ago. Come on, Bob. Let's sort this quick for him. Configure video. Come on. I might just throw a filter on it. See if I can do it that way. But right now, which should just go for default. <laughs> That's even worse. Throw the brightness back. Yeesh. All right, let's leave it like that. I'll figure it with the filters. Because I think they're going to play up. But yes, you've got this horrific looking Mel. It was looking loads better earlier. Turn off the lights. It'll be too dark. Let's knock one of them off. Let's see what that does. Whoa. It's a little bit bright, brighter, isn't it? That's even worse. Look at that. I'm switching it back on. You see, this is what happens when you've got webcams that are conflicting. You get this sort of response. White balance, you reckon? No, the white balance is fine. The color is right. It's the exposure that's way off. Way off. Well, what? tell you what, let's throw a filter on it. Not face plug-in mask, no. Uh, color correction. Done. Right. Da -da 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 -da. Let's knock the brightness down a bit. Yeah. Ooh, this is not going to work, is it? See what that does. Oh, that's even worse. But yeah, other ones are fine. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm just going to have this really, really glowy face whilst Bob works his stuff out. Bob's been a git. Yeah, I did have it set perfectly. And so I'm curious as to if it's with me going live, if that's knocking the settings out, because they were perfect before we started the stream. Yeah, so I don't know if something happens when I go live and I'm streaming, if it switches something. Uh... Can you put a cloth or something to cover the white background? We can. It's not actually white, though, to be perfectly honest. Even so, you can still hear me. And let's be honest, I'm not that pretty to look at anyway, am I? You started the stream exactly the same. I had to double check it was live. <laughs> yeah. Mel, do you provide sunglasses? No, I do not. Stop being git. It's not that bad, is it? You're making me paranoid now. Come on, Boastical. Let's see if we can sort this for the people. Right. Let's configure this video. And we will figure this. Default. Default. It's even... Actually, it's even dropped the flicker from 50 hertz to what you call it. Whoa. Yeah, let's leave that off. Right. We've got no gain on it, no brightness, no contrast. So. Let's drop contrast. There you go. Exposure was up too high. Ah. See, this is what it looked like before the feed. See, Mel's happy now. Right, let me quickly check the desk cam to make sure that's copied across. Yeah, uh, it all looks good there. Right, so all it is is the exposure on the camera seems to, when we go live, it goes up one. So now we have a solution. I told you, it's just about keeping calm and cracking on. Right, do I look better like this? 
Yeah, Stephen on, on Facebook saying much better. Nice one. We've hit 100 viewers. Hello, folksicles. Hello, my isolation reachers. Now, I should say we are streaming on Facebook, on Twitch and YouTube tonight. Yes, I'm doing all three. We're having a bit of a party, a menange a trois, menange a quatre. Yeah, uh, under UK le legislation, we can only do this digitally. Okay, uh, yes. There's some adventurous couples out there whose bedroom activities have got seriously curtailed by legislation. Being a single folk, it doesn't affect me in the slightest, to be perfectly honest. Uh, right. Shall we do the COVID update? Yeah, and we'll have a quick chat about that. I, obviously, if we're doing COVID, I need to get Pammy, the pandemic panda. Yeah, her head isn't blinding me anymore. There, there we are. Must be nice with so many supportive comments. Well, I mean, it starts off supportive, doesn't it? And then as you know, you guys get comfortable in the chat, then the bullying begins. And it does. I've seen the chats, we know. So, here we are. If you don't know, this is a pushy or a pusheen or something like that, that my daughter ordered for her bedroom here. But my kids are staying away at the minute, yeah, because I'm a little at risk with the chest and that sort of stuff. So, I'm in isolation. And, you know, we're doing it digitally with the kids things. I'm, you know, chatting with them that way. So in the meantime, I'm looking after Pam. Now, apparently it, its name is McFluffles, but I've renamed it. OK, this is Pammy. Yeah, the pandemic panda. And it's my comfort panda. Yeah, for when we talk about the pandemic. Right. So, yeah, news in the UK. Uh, not much to be truthful. Our Prime Minister has been diagnosed with COVID-19. Our Chief Medical Officer has been diagnosed with COVID-19. If they have, it's likely that most of our senior politicians will have because they will have been spending a lot of time in rooms together. So I'm expecting to hear more announcements about, you know, the Health Secretary and, you know, various other people. Uh, moving onwards. Uh, the police are starting to crack down harder on people who are out without good cause. Yeah, there's lots of mimes, memes going around on Facebook about, you know, the dog being walked like so many times by everyone. Yeah, and I can understand that. You do get cabin fever a bit. It's been good for me because with recovering from, you know, having the chest infection and that sort of stuff. Yeah, uh, I was sort of housebound anyway. And so I got a good sort of structure going with Dave and with Jace and that sort of stuff video wise long before this isolation came along. So for me, actually, I was just getting ready to go back out to the world and crack on. And then, you know, the world went in isolation. But I'm quite well set up for this, you know, so I'm doing really well, to be perfectly honest, as you can in these situations, obviously. He says as he strokes his panda. So many puns, so many puns, panda puns. So anyway, yeah, uh, bits of not news news, but uh, they're starting to turn our airports into uh, temporary mortuaries. I'm imagining for the hangars and that sort of stuff. So we are gearing up for a death toll in the UK. We've had our biggest jumps in deaths. What was really nice is last night, watch call it, you know, people did stand out on the curb, on the doorsteps and applaud the NHS. I just hope that follows through in politics and when this crisis is over, they continue to be supported. Yeah, so that is the, watch you call it, uh, COVID-19 update today in the UK. It's been rather quiet. Yeah. So what about you guys? Any major things happened in your countries? Because this is a good way of us just, before we start, you know, touching base and doing the COVID gossip and getting it out of the way until we crack on. Not much. <laughs> PM Boris, COVID-19, geez. The thing is, I mean, I've seen, I've seen predictions that we're looking at about an 80% infection rate. 
Yeah, I 80% of the population is going to get it at some point. All we're trying to do is drag that 80% out. Oops, sorry, just checking the, the left on. Yeah, so we're just trying to drag that 80% out over time, flatten the curve. Yeah, just so that our health surface can cope with the curve. Yeah. High death toll, yeah. All those years of as an introvert told me I needed to go out more. Now I can tell all those extroverts to stay in more. And they find out how annoying it is. <laughs> to be truthful, hobbyists and gamers and this sort of stuff, and we're well adapted to this stay indoors lock. I mean, I imagine gym people will be going up the wall for their endorphin fix right now. I mean, you get a lot of people who are addicted to the gym because when you exercise heavily, you get an endorphin, you know, that feel great sort of kick. And it's highly addictive, which is why you get people addicted to go into the gym and that being a live sort of feeling. It's because they're, they're often on endorphins. Yeah. Uh, and so I imagine there's going to be a lot of people who are going to be going like a bit stir crazy on the fact that they can't beast it in the gym. Uh, Patrick saying Belgium lockdown now till half of April. Right. Okay. So you're looking at at least another couple of more weeks in lockdown. Uh, uh, only essential services, uh, getting people into grocery stores, Ontario. Right. Okay. <clears throat> Not a COVID cough. Maybe it is, but I'm in isolation. So let's go with it. New form of pandemic in Italy. Schools are completely cancelled up until May, but it's likely it won't be back until next year in Indiana, I believe that is. Yeah, when you leave these comments, just let us know where in the world you are. You know what I mean? It just helps us like, you know, 700 a day dead here in Spain. Damn, different gear. Then again, I mean, we've got, we have to be realistic. They don't take over airports for morgues if they're not expecting people not to die. And it's a sad reality, but I've always thought you Terraniacs were a sensible bunch and people who deal with realities. Because, I mean, let's be honest, from the conversations we've had in the past about our mental health and stuff like that, a lot of us have had to deal with some challenges. And I think in this situation, it actually equips us better in mental health because we've had to deal with desperate situations. You know what I mean? So actually I'm quite mentally strong and I've got to say, I really do look forward to our sort of nine o'clock get to gets together and I get a chance to connect with loads more people than just a couple of friends, you know, on, on Facebook and that sort of stuff. Different gear saying uh, 64,000 cases now. I believe America, <coughs> who knows? I may be going through it and going through the other side, to be perfectly honest. I'm not sure. Yeah. But I'm just going to roll with isolation until I get tested. Any Adepticon memories as we're all missing it this year? I think, what you call it, what we should do is perhaps at the weekend, I should premiere my Adepticon movies again on Saturday and Sunday night. Yeah. And I'll talk with you through them. Yeah. Yeah. Or if not Saturday or Sunday, we may follow it through. You know, I want to show off some Adepticon stuff. I'm gutted I'm not there. Sweden is not closing anything. I just want to be at home and craft. Are they not actually closing anything, though? Cat, hello, Cat. It's good to see Cat in the comments. Pagan, yes, but the thing is, GM said they were going to do it. He told them no, and now he's ordered them to do it. Oh, politics. Eesh. Bear's saying, I live in Sweden. No lockdowns. Schools are running for the most part. Gatherings over 50 now warrants jail time. The Swiss, they have a bizarre way of doing things. Yes, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. You'll go to prison. I mean, what if your school's got more than 50 kids in it? 
Michigan is up to three and a half thousand confirmed cases and nine two deaths. I think you can, we're going to see deaths as, as a what you call it as a lag. You know what I mean? Uh, I was watching. Is it Como or Comey or the New York uh, governor? And he made an interesting point that you know we've got they've got people dying now that they're taking off ventilators because they haven't re recovered and they've been on ventilators for weeks. So I think we're going to miss it. You know, we are going to have a lag on that. I think ultimately we just have to accept that this is going to touch all of us and it's going to hurt us all. Yeah. Uh, I see a lot of like mimes and jokes going around on Facebook and you, you, you do see this in, you know, these situations. But I think me and Jace were talking and I think it's going to get personal. You know what I mean? I have an op and got MRSA, so on lockdown, you forced all look after yourself. Uh, working as a teacher in Sweden, they have not closed anything yet. That's bizarre. Uh, Zika say in USA is up to ninety seven thousand cases. I think that the cases things, uh, Sweden not Swiss. Ah, yeah, sorry, yeah. I think in the cases things that comes down to testing. Do you know what I mean? I think that I think that the belly of the beast is going to be a lot bigger, yeah, when we actually see. But at the same time, we're going to see how many people have actually gone through this without any problems. Is it going to be worse than Mel touching the panda? I'm stroking my panda. It's my panic panda. Pammy the pandemic pan panic panda. Pammy the pandemic. <laughs> We're going to do this, okay? Pammy the pandemic panic panda. Pammy the pandemic. Pammy the pandemic panic panda. Pammy the pandemic. <laughs> Pammy the pandemic pan, panic panda. <laughs> Believe it or not, yeah, I think I am going slightly cuckoo, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, either that or I'm getting that relaxed with the situation. I'm naturally turning to what I normally am, which is a bloody idiot, if I'm perfectly honest. Because me and Jace were having like a chat earlier on Facebook. And I discovered you could play these virtual games. And we ended up, I ended up looking like a unicorn. And then Jace was a narwhal. And we were catching these rings with our head on the live chat. Remember guys, yeah? It has been scientifically proven by countless studies that laughter does help. It helps you with stress. It helps you with health. It helps you with your general well-being. So, listen, dark comedy is okay. Yeah, there's a time and a place, but it's okay. It's a coping mechanism. You shouldn't feel guilty about it. Doing it in front of your kids, yeah, or if you're a teacher in Sweden, in front of a class, no, no, don't, okay? Yeah, but in private and with close friends, dark comedy is perfectly fine, guys. Yeah, it's how we cope. Anyone else getting a Bond villain vibe from Mel stroking the panda? If you'd rather talk about you, Pammy. Thank you. We've been trying to remember the South Park thing. Anyone else get a uh, bubba? The US is still aren't accurate because we still don't have the folks being tested and we still have idiots crowding in places. The UK's got a lot better, but I am hearing there's still problems. I heard in Birmingham the police have turned around and there, there's a lot of situations where parents are sending their kids out because they're doing their heads in. And so I'm expecting, they said that they're taking the kids home and, you know, they're getting social services involved. If it wasn't for dark comedy, we wouldn't have a chat. So true. You need an eye patch. I'm sure there's a face mask we can do. In a world that's terrible, 
It feels good to know that Mel and the Terraniacs will crack on as usual. Mate, I've spent pretty much the entire YouTube channel wobbling about something in my private life. Yeah, it is usual. In fact, I'm actually really relaxed and prepared. I've got Pammy, the pandemic panic panda. I'm going to get it right one of these days, folks. Yeah, but it's quite calm. We're going to get through this. And remember, it's going to be tough. It's going to be rough. But we're going to come out of it at the other end. There's no scientific data that says this is going to end society. All I think is it might watch it give society a bit of a kick up the arse about what's important in life. And one of those things is this. You know what I mean? Relaxing, hobby time, being with friends, you know? So, that's where we are. Right. Oh, let me put Pammy the Pandemic Panda, pan, Panic Panda. Pammy the Pandemic Panda. Panny the Panda. Right here, folks and girls. My new hobby, yeah, Amazon review photos is going incredibly well. Incredibly well. I might start a new YouTube channel. Crazy Joe, I have parrots and prosthetic legs, so I make a pretty good biker pirate. Actually, yeah, you would, wouldn't you? I bet you got a peg leg, mate. That'd be brilliant. <laughs> and if you don't, do it. Ah, I want a panda as well. I'm trying to convince girlfriend that we would get a kitten now. We spend so much time at home. She did not like that idea. Yes, I think we need panda merch. Stroke the panda. Ladies' t-shirts, long. Calm down, Boastical. Right, quadruple P. You do you, Mel. Thank you, Dan. In case no one saw it, Osprey Publishing are giving away free copies of Frostgrave and a couple of solo adventures while everyone is stuck in, inside without gaming partners. Full details on the site. Thanks, Beyond Hope. Yeah, I did see that on Facebook. I hope we're going to see more of that, but Frostgrave is a cracking game. Yeah, go grab it. Solo play is perfectly fine in isolation. It doesn't break any regulations. Yeah, just do it responsibly and don't do it too much in case you get chafing. One of my kids works for ASPCA. I'm an American uh, Society for the Protection and Care of Animals, I'm guessing. Yeah, RSPCA is ours. Uh, the pet adoptions are way up. Comfort animals. Let's hope they, they comfort those animals after the crisis, eh? If you didn't need a, an animal before the crisis. Then again, in isolation, yeah, that makes sense. And there's going to be a lot of old people who are going to be in isolation for quite a long time. So, okay. Being a bit judgmental there, Mel. Panda in the palms. Mel, next show. Pandas and palm trees. Pandas in the palms. Come stroke the panda in the palm. Are you a panda or a palm? I'm get This is... Yeah. Right, we've done the COVID-19 update. We have put the world to rights and yeah, we're ready to, to chill, kick back, have a bit of a laugh. Right, next one is obviously technical update. As you can see, I have definitely improved the uh, visuals on the stream. Yeah, I think we can all, what you call it? Come stroke the panda in the bush. Jason. That's disgusting. Jace, I'm ringing social services. You shouldn't have children. Pervert. Right. They also do the foster kittens the season. She gets five at a time for about six weeks. Many more are signing up. Right. I lost viewers at that one, Jace. Right. 
Okay, so let's talk. Let, let's let's move on from pandas and what you call it and pandemics. Mm. Right. So moving forward, a technology update. Nothing's come through the door for me to update. All the the little tweaks I've been doing uh, today have just been fine tuning the webcam, and as you can see, it's looking a lot better. Yeah, I do think when the when we get the next up webcam and we've got three different models, yeah, so we get Sue two, yeah, because obviously we've got Rita, Sue, and Bob, yeah. What shall it? When we get all three models there, when we get the new one and we've got three different models, I think we'll get better control over the picture. But we've already figured out that actually it's quite easy to sort. All we need to do is go in with the face one drop the exposure, auto exposure down a level and just default everything else. And it seems to be quite good to be perfectly honest. I mean, the picture looks good to me. <clears throat> Stroking the panda is a coping method, not a euthanism. Mel, have you been doing any wasteland dioramas? No, not yet. Mel, 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 did they throw your mic delivery over the fence? No, I think they've nicked it. Yeah, I put a delivery note, uh, expensive and fragile, and I'm re regretting the word expensive on it now. Someone will open it up thinking, ooh, I've got like a laptop or something, and they're going to have a microphone they've got no use for. But I've already lodged a, a tracking complaint with Amazon, and because we buy our tech gear on Amazon and, you know, we get so much, I don't think I'm going to have a problem with it. Fair to say this stream will not be mon be monetized by YouTube. That's fair. That's why I don't put monetize them on. Norma's saying we're all looking great and sounding great. Thank you greatly. Yeah, so technical wise, we're just wait waiting for the audio to turn up so we can find, tweak that little beast. Yeah, and get a little bit more audio. There's a couple of little things we need to do on that count. I'm looking at this lighting and I'm starting to think whether I might, might need to move one of the lights around here just to illuminate the desk a bit better. Yeah. Uh, so we'll have to have a look at that. Uh, beyond that, it's mainly the editing and stepping up. So technological wise, we seem to have got where we need to get to for these streams to be really good. We've just got a little bit of final tweaking to do. Yeah, so Mel is a very happy chappy right now, to be perfectly honest. Sounds simple, but can you leave the gate open when an ex a delivery is expected? Yes, I can. It's really interesting. My Hermes actually, th actually, they take a photo, yeah, of where they've thrown the package to prove they've thrown it in the backyard. It's like... Is that proof of delivery or, or, or evidence of parcel damage? <laughs> right, anyway, yeah, good job it wasn't Hermes. Uh, this one, oh, ah, someone's chatting, I'll catch that later. Right, sounds simple. Uh, do, do, do you play board games as well as war games, Mel? I do both, so I was curious. Do you like Pandemic? The irony, yeah. Uh, like Carson Owen as well. My herpes, they might as well be. <laughs> yeah. Is it only small kids here in Sweden that still are in kindergarten school? High school and university kids can fend for themselves at home. Small kids at home keep doctors at home. Ah, that makes sense. That does make sense. So basically, the, the child daycare, yeah, because a lot of the, you know, Swedes are very professional people. Do you, don't you guys have a signature required delivery? No, it's a bit iffy. Yeah, signatures are vague in the UK. You can, they can need a signature and, I mean, I've had parcels that I've found in the garden that I've signed for. And when I've looked at my signature, my signature has been, it hasn't been embossed. It's been received. <laughs> and it's like, yes, no. Mm. 
Lucky if we get a knock at the door. Know that one. Mm. Mel, 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 any tips for making a, an old looking olive tree? I haven't even looked at an old looking old olive tree. Tell you what, I'll think about that. Right. Has anyone played Heroes of Normandy board game? Keep looking at it. And the artwork looks great. Don't know, mate. Don't know. Uh, last night I wanted to start reading a book to help me relax before bedtime. Chose The Stand by Stephen King. Are you trying to give me chest pains, mate? <coughs> oh, the dicky ticker. I'm thinking, could this be like the worst case bits of it? I'm hoping that is. You see, I was showing symptoms, yeah, for the past couple of months, long before it evolved in China. So I don't know if I'm showing symptoms because I have a bit of a persistent cough and because I've got a bit of a chest problem, you know, from the stress smoking. Uh, and so it's quite a bizarre situation. Like, am I infected or is this just normal me? Remember the game some people's did? Ring on the doorbell and, and run away. Yeah, knock and run. They've grown up to be UPS drivers. To be truthful, I don't blame them for the amount of people they must meet. I don't want to be meeting that many people. Yeah. Knock on the door, leave it there, and when you see the door open, yeah, we're good. Right. We're not just here for us chat, is it? Right, folks, if you are enjoying the screen, the screen, the stand, the stream, the, the stream. If you are enjoying the stream, yeah, links down below to support the channel. And always remember, nine o'clock every night through this crisis, we're going to be here doing our thing and having a smile and just having a laugh and having a relax. But links down below. If you like it, guys, your support is appreciated. It will be being collected up. I'm not sure what for just yet. Yeah, probably a microphone mount and a shock mount for it so we don't get that on the audio. You know what I mean? Yeah, so that should be the battle plan. Uh, and we'll see how we go. Yeah, I believe the shock mount and that sort of stuff is £100. So we'll say that's the target and we ain't going to hit it on tonight's show, I don't think. But if you'd like to help us hit that target, link's down below. In the meantime, we've got terrain to talk about, haven't we? Yeah? So, we're at the stage of putting together uh, our 40k stuff, yeah, for Isolation's Reach. At the minute, I'm just combining GW stuff with Mantic Terrain Crate. So what I want to do is grab a few pieces that I did before Christmas, yeah, and start reassembling them, get them a little bit more back together, yeah, and sort of introduce you to them. Right, I have a feeling, yeah, YouTube chat has stalled. Yeah, don't worry, guys, it will kick it back in. It's Restream's doing its thing, so I'm fully prepared for this just so I can make sure I can see your chat. I can still see you Twitchers and I can still see you Facebookers. You Facebookers and Twitchers, you are at the minute monopolize the screen chat. Yeah, so have at it. It's gonna become a battle between the guys on Twitch, of which there are six of them, and the nine people on Facebook, yeah? Check Facebook message. I'm not checking any messages. Ah, bye bye. So Mel is making exciting sci-fi scenery and I'm building a 28 millimeter French public toilet for my World War II village. Whatever floats your boat, buddy. Right, let's uh, get some pieces. Oh! Oh, 
I didn't mean to do that. Oh, look how red faced I've gone. Jesus, red. Right, sir, let's make some space. We shall adjust the view. We'll go for desk. There we go. Right, you'll have to uh, excuse me while I organise. Yeah, I can change my mood lighting. We'll go for green. Ooh, actually. That actually works a bit better. What happens if I switch it off? Switch it back on. Does that actually... That really does... That's a lot better, isn't it? A lot better without that light there. What's the face cam like? That's not bad at all, is it? Very quickly. That makes me look paler. It, it messes around with the white balance. I think the issue is we've got two types of light. Yeah, so if I switch that off. Yeah, I think that's a lot cleaner picture. Is it? I can't tell. Yeah, let's leave that off. Right, no cure at the stupidity. Uh, oh yeah, watch what someone is saying that in the UK, it's now uh, quite a serious offence to cough at certain emergency services on purpose. They're calling it COVID coughing. Yeah, and I'm glad that that's an offence. Right, let's have a look at the desk. So that one's still bright, close cam. It must auto adjust the exposure then when I activate it. Right, there we go. Look at how bright the exposure is on that. Look at my hands compared to my hands on the watch on the, on this cam, on the small one. Yeah, we need a diff we need to get that other webcam and just tie everything in, don't we? Cuz actually it's quite dark in here, so this has been brightened up and it's really graying it out. So, I am going to switch that light back on. Yeah, and then I'm going to switch between uh, close cam and desk cam, and that's knocked it back a bit. That's a bit better. The things you have to do, hopefully, yeah, uh, we're going to get... Mel, did I hear that people are stealing NHS person's badges? Yes. Ayo, hey, Pant. Uh, I've also heard uh, my local hospital, or one of the local hospitals, that... People are also stealing oxygen tanks. Stealing goddamn oxygen tanks from a hospital. Ikea was not that crowded today. What's Ikea even doing open? Scumbag spat at a female UK police sergeant and told her he had COVID-19. He just got sent down for 26 weeks. Nice! <laughs> oh, shame. Such a shame for him. I hate the fact that we've even got people like that in society. Somewhere as a society, we screwed up. I'm not saying us personally, I'm just saying society. To make people like that. Mm. Uh, Michael's cook, just wanted to pop in and say hello from New Mexico. Yeah, I uh, finally got a new job. Nice. Yeah, looking forward to being able to join the patron with my first check. You spend that first check on you, mate. When you get your second one, nip on over to patron. Thank you, buddy. There we go. Right, re -glued that. So, what's Bosical working on? In fact, I better glue that better. Oh, 
Well, apart from writing for our Dave, which I'm doing quite a bit of, quite a lot of, there's lots of sections of the book that were written whilst I was going through quite a stressful time. And so I'm going back and just revamping and making sure things are sharp and correcting little things which, you know, clearly weren't what I meant to write at the time. Right, so. Yeah, big support for France. Thank you. Right, have we had any PayPalers? Uh, none as yet, I don't believe. Okie dokie. Right, so, working on US Marines for ball action, nice one. We will probably be locked down soon too. Where are you, where are you, Sea Dragon? Right, so, what's going on with this? Basically, I'm combining components, okay? So, what I've got here is, I've got some of the Mantic stuff. Yeah, uh, close cap. That's a bit better, isn't it? Yeah, so what I've got here is, I've got some, look at the overexposure. I bet that could be sorted with just defaulting and drop one down, but leave it for this one. Yeah, right, we've got the Mantic Terrain Crate stuff, which is modular, and it clips together, and you know, I've basically made, yeah, this sort of stairs, a freestanding platform, and the idea was that I'm doing something with this. Now this is GW Kit, yeah, so we've got the reactors and the wherever that is and that bit. Yeah, connected them with a bit of Mantic piping, which happens to fit perfectly. Yeah, so GW piping fits perfectly with Mantic piping. So the idea is I came along and it's like, right, you know, mind your head. Yeah, so I'm thinking something along those lines. Yeah, because that puts this access ladder here. Yeah, roughly there. But what I'm trying to do is work out if I can combine it with, say, something like that, I think it was, in that position. Yeah. Was it like that? Was it like, no, it was like that. So this is what I'm trying to do with these pieces. Yeah, which is essentially build up some sort of narrative with them so that when I put them down, they become functional pieces where, you know, you can move your, your toy soldiers around them and that sort of stuff. And we need, where, where's my toy soldiers? Yeah. There's Dave. Dave the Stormtrooper. Yeah, but obviously they're functional pieces. And I really like that. Can you? That's a bit iffy. Although I could put a grid around there. And make out a granny grating. In fact, I could put a gantry across there. So. And this is what I do with terrain. I, I like to play with terrain. Yeah. So the question is, do we keep this element or do we separate that off and replace it with perhaps a pipe? Yeah, and make this across here be the functional thing. And we put perhaps gantries across here. That could certainly work. So, we need, we need to decide what we're doing with that outlet because I think it needs something there. Yeah, so what have we got? I mean, that would be enough. All I'm thinking is about base profile. Yeah. If I put that there, and that's going to extend the base out quite considerably. Yeah. That'll work well. It'll turn it more pear-shaped, which will reduce its chance of warping. Yeah. So, I'm quite happy with that idea. So, what I'm going to do is, very quickly, I'm just going to glue that onto there. Do I want to do anything else with it? Come on, folks, before you glue this on, have a think. We don't really want to do anything. We could do something coming out of there. Then it would be too linear. Could we go to a storage tank of some sort? Hmm. 
Mm, not sure. If we extend that, yeah, that's going to leave us with a lot of empty space on the base around here. Yeah, it's going to... I actually quite like that as an extension. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I do. And the only other thing is... Oh, yeah. So, will this fit? So if we put that there, and put a reactor there, yeah, it will have to go there, okay? This is me, this is how I work these things out, okay? So if that goes there, where can we put this so that'll work? Will it bend enough round that each? So I want that. So actually, if we go, if we extend it out a bit that way, will that give us, yeah, that'll give us a space to do that. And then we can fit that in there. And that gives us perfect, yes. And this is how we do it, okay? So let me show you what I've figured out. Uh, let me move it around. Yeah, like that, okay? It's quite a narrow piece. Yeah, which means I'm going to have warping problems, and I like I like my my pieces, my scatter pieces, to to be more oval to avoid warp, warping. And this is part of the experimentation. Secondly, it's a bit weird of a setup. I mean, you've got a dome, you've got this, and you've got a pipe across it, and obviously something happens here that goes over to here. But I like the idea of introdu introducing, uh, you know, an actual industrial feel that there is something going on with it. And so by adding this in. Yeah, this little reactor. And you they have these reactor cores that you put in these and pull out. Yeah. But we can put that there. It doesn't work if I put it that way. Yeah. But if I turn this piece around there and extend it a little bit more further out. Yeah. We can fit this all round. And that's quite an interesting model, in all honesty. That becomes more interesting as a model. I think. What do you think? The stair on the reactor. Folks, he has a bit of a trouble with the YouTube chat. For questions, you may need to go to Facebook or hope one of us in this chat can help you. I do see the chat. I, I can see the chat. And actually, it has reconnected. Nice one, YouTube. Nice one, Restream. Yeah. Hey, I see my Facebookers. Good with Emperor, Emperor Pal Palpatine voice. Great looking banana. How did you make that? I'm going to have it in a minute, mate. Right, so yeah. So what we're going to do is, first off, I need to fix these bits together. Yeah, and then I can group these together. And then tomorrow we can draw them out on a large bit of uh, EPVC and actually mount them. There's still a lot of work to do, and some of the things will need at least undercoating, yeah, before they're mounted. Let's give it a little wiggle. Wiggle it, just a little bit. Add flames and smoke at the top. Yeah, yeah, I intend to. That is in the plan for it. I've got plenty of polyfiber. The stair is blocked. No, the stair isn't blocked. There was enough room for get models up and down it. Then a gantry on top of the pipe. Yeah, yeah, I think we can do that. All right, next I need to do this one. Now, I don't want to attach this to that just yet because it's too much on the join, if you know what I mean. Yeah, but what I do need to do is make sure that it lines up. So pull this back around here. Yeah, and just bring that there and just make sure that, yeah, that does line up. So, <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's a wiggle it job. Yeah.
Now I think I've got supports for under these pipes actually. That'll help with this, but I don't think I'm gonna need them. Just need to wiggle it a little, get it right, let the glue do its job. So that goes to there. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah, so that's a reactor piece created. Easy peasy. Yeah, that goes in there. Something along like that. That goes to there. And it looks perfect. Yeah, and then all we need to do is come up with some fencing. That'll be at the scratch building stage. At this stage, all I'm doing is sort of assembling the manufactured components. Will you not paint them separately before putting them all together? Yeah, I will, I will. Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, what I'll probably do is get the bases out for them. I'll, I'll tack them in place, yeah, with a little bit of hot glue whilst I figure little things out so they're collected on a base. And then because it's all plastic and it'll be on an EPVC base, I can just pick the hot glue off. I'm gonna use cheap hot glue. Because it's really soft and, not, you know, so it'll be easy to peel off. Yeah. What pipe is that that joins the tanks? The pipe that joins the tanks is from the Mantic kits. Yeah. So it's part of the Mantic set of terrain. Yeah. I don't know how many of those pipes I have left. Let's see what we've got in the pipe box. Yeah, Mantic produced the pipes. I haven't got that many of them left. Yeah, but, you know, they produce a wide range and they're simpler, less detailed than the 40K ones. But they come with T-junctions and that sort of stuff. Yeah. Crosses. They also come with these connectors on. Now, what's really interesting is if I... That's not... Let's get 40K. To sort of show you, yeah, 40k pipe, yeah, Mantic pipe. I mean, it's it's literally a perfect fit to the millimeter. Absolutely perfect. Yeah, and actually the connectors these will actually fit on the pipe. So if you get that situation, you get a bit of a wiggle around. Yeah, but the connectors make it perfect. And just to show you, yeah, uh, Mantic pipe, GWN plate, perfect fit. Doesn't even wiggle from side to side. Well, there's about a, about a millimeter plate across the whole thing. Yeah, but the, the edge fits in, yeah. Let's see if I can, how far I can tip it before it falls off. There you go. Yeah, so Mantic terrain crate kits are a good way of extending the GW stuff if you want a more functional stuff. Now, Mel B. Mel, yeah, has made damn sure he's got plenty of pipes. Yeah. Uh, this is my pipe box. Uh, da -da -da -da. John Telby said we had our first war gamers paint and chat last night. Nice one. I'm glad to hear these communities are starting. What's the factory making, Mel? Could you buy some inner ammo rounds and turn them into a guard ammo factory? Have the ammo running on belts and pulleys? I suppose you could. I mean, uh, you, using empty shell casing is, is quite common in war gaming. Or two two ones make great howitzer shells. Or how how it's a containers. Looks pretty simple and three D printable. Yeah, probably is. Need to get into three D printing malarkey. So 
So that's what we're doing with this piece. What I want to do very quickly, yeah, I'll just quickly show it you. I need my turntable from the studio, realistically. But we'll have to we'll have to look at that. But if I go to uh, desk cam, yeah. So yeah, there's our facility so far, and that's what we're sort of looking at. Yeah. So this will be one scatter piece, okay? And this is a small scatter piece. What I want to do now is put together and glue the pipes for the next scatter piece. Yeah, another one which is combining the Mantic stuff with the GW stuff. So I'm going to put this up on my shelf, the shelf of, of basingness, because that's where everything that needs basing is going. And I know now that all these parts belong to one set of built, one set. Oh, camera wiggle. Right, guys, can you just give me two seconds? I need to switch the heating off before I melt. Yeah, back in two seconds, guys. Hey up. So he's back. Yes, he will in sections. Will you base the factory? Yes, I will. Right. So next one we've got. Uh, let's go for close cam. I'm getting better with these cams. Right, let's adjust that. Bring it up just a little. Yeah. That's a better picture for you, hopefully. Right. So what are we looking at on this one? Right, okay, we've got the Mantic bits, and I've, I've started to hack and slash at them on this one. Yeah, so these bits here, these half squares, I literally just got a, uh, you know, a jeweler's saw, saw, and I just cut the squares in half to make them half, because same with these panels as well, because I needed it just to be a half step up, because I was running out the halves. <coughs> Next off, Got the ramp up here, got some gantries. Yeah, I've done this sort of balancing act with this. Yeah, where this platform at the top, yeah, and you can see once again, cut half there. Yeah, it's sort of been created. The other half of that piece is there. Yeah, and then there's a cut in half gantry with a bit chipped out. Now, here comes the challenge. I assembled the pipes around this one before. And I can't quite remember them, how the layout went. So we're going to have to work this out. Yeah? Right, have you stopped ch stopped chatting or is it, what you call it, is it Facebook? Is it Restream again? Doesn't look like you stopped chatting. It looks like you stopped chatting by the looks of it. Okay. I'm going to have to keep that there just to keep an eye on it. Right, so. Yeah. I need... The box of pipes, first off. Now clearly, I pre-glued that for this. Now if I remember correctly, and I've got to work this one out. Yeah, the idea was that that goes through that hatch. Yeah, and that comes into there, which is why the grill's been cut off. Then this comes round to there, bringing the pipe up to there. Now... If I remember correctly, yeah, what I wanted to do was over to this one. I am liking this swizzy chair to grab my pipes. I wanted to basically, yeah, at the minute I've got this sort of safety valve at the top of here, and I quite like that. Like something's coming up from the ground, but this is a safety mechanism. Yeah, but it goes around here and I want a reactor here. Yeah, so there's something on this platform that there's a reason to get at. Okay, so the next thing we have to do is check pipe height. Now that's what I remember. 
yeah we can fit the reactor here but we're going to have to raise it up so we're going to need to figure out how we're going to do that yeah that's not going to be easy yeah only amateurs take pictures professionals remember actually i have got pictures of this right the next job that we wanted to do was after we've raised that up was yeah we want i wanted something on this side now if i remember correctly this was part of it but that holes too that holes wrong there so no that went that no that didn't go there something else went there there's a reactor yeah there we go what have we got i think yeah this one yeah, this reactor goes here because that will be in line with that hole. Yes. And then, yeah, what we had was we had that there. No, no, we didn't. It was a taller chimney stack. Now, it must have been pre-glued, so it won't... What the bloody hell was that that bit for? I remember what that bit's for. We've got that one to build as well, haven't we? Where the bloody hell is that? Ah, that's over there. Right. Anyway. Ah, there we are. That's the stack that I want for this. And then there should be some curved pipes already done that go round here. So, are they in here? Or are they in the other box? Now, one of the reasons that I'm doing this is I want to take out, although obviously I've got loads and loads and loads of, of parts, I want to take out what I've already committed to buildings. Yeah. And then I can sit back and go, right, this is what I've got left with to build. Yeah. It's going to be the way it's going to, we may have no choice. And what? And Mel, and Mel does neither. Professionals make variants. I like that. I'll have an Ed Gen special with a side of fries. <laughs> Hope Antonosity's Workshop has some. Oh, love Antonosity's Workshop. Mal is a master. Masters have pupils to remember the important stuff. Or are they used? I haven't used them yet. Stop it insane. I know what you're trying to do. You git. Right. So technically, if I pre-glued them, they should be in this box. That looks pre-glued. Actually, no, it doesn't. Right, I don't see them in this box. So, and they're not in that box. So are they in this box? I have multiple of boxes. In fact, I need to sort these out after the stream. Because there's tons of pipe work in these as well. Tons, actually. These need to go in the pipe box. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. So, what I think we should do is... Except that we can't... Oh. Yeah, thought I had. They are. That's already pre-glued and it fits perfectly where it needs to go. Yeah, got it. Knew I had. Right, let's do some gluing. Oh. Right, put that over there because we're going to need that for that one. We don't need any of these parts. We need to assemble the Mechanicum bits on this. Now, how to do this. First off, yeah, we will attach. Well, we know those two bits have got to be glued together. Yeah, but I'm going to be a bit scientific now. <laughs> I can hear you all panicking. It's like a thousand voices screamed out all at once. Right, let's put that over there. So this one. That went into there. That goes to there. Thank you. 
No, it's got to be raised up like that. So I think we're going to have to extend this as well with a pipe. We only need to extend it with about half an inch pipe. So let's bear that in mind. We may have to cut one of the mantic ones. Have I got anything that could solve that problem here? That looks roughly the right. No, that doesn't fit there. Does it fit into there? We'll have to clip those off. But that should. Or does it fit into there? Oh, it'll fit into there. We can extend that that way then. Perfect. We have a mission. Right, so basically I've got a bit of a gap between the reactor. So if I spin this round here, yeah, prior, yeah, we were in this situation with a bit of a gap between either side of the reactor to fill. Yeah, by using this component, I can push that out, I can push that that way, and that works better. Okay? Is Jace off? Right, catch you later, Jace. Thanks, buddy. So, I'm going to throw some glue on this. Commander off. Catch you later, doll. Right. Now, the plan is to basically get these set up and we'll look at basing them tomorrow. Yeah, obviously, we've got a sort of... Oh, wrong way around, you idiot. You idiot. But why are you putting glue on that now? You, oh, bicycle. Well, since you've done it, you might as well glue it. So that one goes on there, and then I'm going to stick the reactor onto here. Yeah, because I've already added glue for it. So I better get this bloody right. Yeah, I think I may have. That'll be a miracle, won't it, folks? Right, so we'll have to make some stands for this to stand on somehow. Yeah, but I've got plenty of components that we can use for that. Uh, that needs to come this way just a little. Eh, not that little. That's straight, that's okay. That's gone wispy because I put my finger in it. Right, and then if we if we wedge that between the keyboard with the banana of stability. Yeah, and then we move back onto this piece. Now on this piece, what we needed to do was end cap this on. So that's that done. Yeah, and then we had the funnel that comes up. Just gluing, dropping, fiddling, the usual. Exactly. Howdy from Alberta. How much have I missed? We're about an hour in, mate. Right, this one I need to glue and attach like that. But I need to make sure it attaches to that. So what I'll do is I'll get a spare one of those. Yeah, just for dry fitting. If it sits flat on the floor, it needs to raise up a little, clearly. Okay. Right, let's glue this. Now we've got to still figure out our Necron Borg feel for this table. Yeah, so I've got to work on that. But we know that's a given. Yeah, there we go. Right, there we are. Wait, so banana for scale. Yes, banana for scale. That sounds dodgy as hell for some reason. 
Right. I uh, can't remember for the US folks except Arizona. Tomorrow is at the same time, but Sunday the UK does their daylight savings thing. So it'll be an hour earlier. 10 a.m. East, 1 p.m. Uh, PST. Is that right? Hey, everyone. Happy Friday. Cleaning up the workshop tonight so I can start painting building tomorrow. Nice one, Jace. Not my Jace. Well, one of my Jaces. Thought you would maybe cast some elements in clear resin and light them with LED. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. That is doable. Right, that's glued. So the next step is to see if Mr. Proud here that seems to be glued enough that we can attempt this why does this not feel like good juju gotta do it sometime boss let's glue it up need to wiggle it a little that was make it sticky they are in nice and firm perfect right time is off <laughs> time is off it is actually in my household time is very much definitely off yeah, uh, it just is off. Time is simple as I just wake up when I wake up and I crack up. Well, actually, no, I wake up about just after midday. Yeah, uh, I then spend the afternoon being my morning. Yeah, uh, this is my mid afternoon. And then after this show finishes, I will start on my evening yeah and i'll start working until the sun comes up and that seems to be working for me right now that banana looks like it's the perfect perfect ripeness it does it is just almost ready to eat because i will be eating it in a moment right so banana for scale yeah let's move this round yeah, and the last component we need to glue on this is this one to here. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. So just need to leave that for a minute. For it is coming together. I do like the Mechanicum stuff. I do. Yeah. Now we've got that one. We know that that's for that building. Yeah, so we're going to crack on with that in a second, but I need this to, to glue and dry. Now, if we've done it correctly, yeah, I don't even want to wiggle this at the minute because everything's going to fall apart, but this will essentially sit into here. So tell you what, let's move this up and out of the way. Yeah, so we're not going to disturb it and then we can bring it back once that glue's set. That, that's not straight either. It's all right. It's still sticky. We can still wiggle it. Oh, it's getting firm. I'm not sure if I can wiggle that. I've wiggled it a little. There we go. I've 
it's a mess. I'm going to move it there, and then I'm going to re-straighten that up and let it dry now. Hey, are you dry over there, undisturbed? Right. My girlfriend went past me and asked, who is that weird man? It's Mel, the terrain god, bask in his glory. Hi, bears, girlfriend. Who is that weird man? No sleep, brain fired, more worried about my PST time, which is so wrong because my kid is on East Coast and I speak to her daily. It'll work out, it'll work out. And the dear reader, as he moved it from the desk to the shelf, he dropped it. No, I'm not dropping it, I'm letting it glue. Banana to scale, needs a t-shirt. Mmm. Looking at some Necron artwork, you can make a silicon cast of some of the Mantic pipe sections with a hollow centre to make them look like plexiglass. Then fill them with green gloop or light. Yeah. Terrain for the terrain god as he sits on his throne eating a banana. <laughs> Right, let me finish this and then we'll crack on. Sorry, folks. Got to keep my energy up in isolation, haven't you? Milk for the cornflakes. Hey, Mel. This is very interesting, but I'm wondering, do you try to imagine what is produced in the factory? I don't go that granular, mate. Unless it's a, bra you know, unless, say it's a tank factory, then you know the the mechanisms of how they would be assembling the tanks. You know, the tanks are big enough. <coughs> I'm I'm quite interested in this just being an energy or refinery of some sort at the minute. <coughs> Right, we assemble at dawn. People are talking about what's considered essential. I'd say the flocking shop is considered the essential. Right, uh, pipe box, where's pipe box? My pipe box. So I know I've already pre-assembled some pieces for this, so they should be somewhere. Unless I've glued them onto something else. Ah, that's one of them. So I know that's going up there. Look at that for I love how well the Mantic stuff works with the GW stuff. I really do. Right. Next up, uh what we were going to do here, we were going to have... Right, I know that this is one element of it. I'm not sure if that's one's going there. And what were we going to put on that side? What were we going to have? Let me have a look at what pipes I've got done. What music do you listen to late night? Uh, I tend to listen to Enya. Right, so, ah, this looks like it's been constructed for some reason, I think, that is designed to go there, and it does, so, 
So what we need to do is fix this pipe to what you call it, to this building. I'm a little bit disconcerned that it's not quite right. So let's fix this pipe to this first. I've not got the ground supports or the props on the on the pipes because it knocks them out a little bit too much. And so, yeah, you have to sort of jiggy it just a little. Yeah, and I need to leave that there to dry. Now, at the same time, I do need to glue this in place. So all I'm basically doing is everything that I've already sort of got a concept for, I'm just finalizing those. So I know what I've got left for when we go on with the other builds and I start putting them together, which is the fun stuff. Hey Mel, first time I'm able to catch a live stream. Welcome Cyclone. We know what's fly flowing through the pipes now, Orinoco flow. Five finger death punch myself. Yeah, I do like those. I'm no hero. I'm not made of stone. Right, and then we need to glue this one, don't we? And actually, we need to slightly tilt that up a little. Sure that works. Yeah, that works there. And then we need to glue that onto there. Yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be that's gonna be tight. Hey ho, and for a penny and for a pound, she said. Right. Come on. And that should be gluing now. So, the building is still separate. Yeah. I can't wiggle anything because there's no wiggle room whatsoever. Whatsoever. Stay. <gasps> Right, there you go. So, another facility done, okay? Uh, quite interesting this one, because I've combined the pipes into the actual building. Now, I don't want to turn it around or move it anywhere or do any of those shenanigans just yet. Yeah, because clearly, it's all still drying. In fact, it has dried. It could have done with drying a bit more like that, to be truthful. But we'll have to just run with it. Hey ho. Right. Do you have control elements for these builds somewhere, or do you plan to make them yourselves? No, I'll make them myself. If you're talking about the electronics and that sort of stuff. Oh. Everyone's talking music. Having fun watching you while I build cardboard uh, cars for my girls. Nice one, buddy. Remember, guys, if you are enjoying the stream, 
Links down below. Grab yourself a mug. You help this mug out. Right. This is Operation Don't Bloody Broke Break It Bows. Let's go put this on the shelf. Shut up, cat. Didn't break it, cat. There, fine. That one's well glued anyway, so put that with it. Right. I said nothing. You were thinking it. I know that. Right, now we've got to do the gently, gently, pushy, pushy over there stuff. Yeah, we'll just leave that to settle for a moment. And we'll go back to normal cam. Yeah, ah, face cam. Hello. Oh, notice it's keeping the, the, the colour and everything right now. I'm quite happy with that. Yes, but you were thinking it. She was, wasn't she? She was thinking it. We know what she's like. Right, I need to check PayPal in case it's not giving me notifications and there's loads of you. This is the really disappointing one where you go to PayPal and it's like, have I had anything? Yeah, am I missing loads of people or like, am I going to go, no, there's nothing. So activity today. When was that? Six. No, nothing. We're good. <laughs> I haven't missed anyone. That's the key thing. Oh, right. I'm just getting into bolt action. I got the Band of Brothers starter set and was wondering if you have uh, first two or three pieces I should get going. I will go and have a look at the Let's Make playlist, mate. A lot of the tutorials in there were geared towards bolt action and cherry pick out of those. So that's the Let's Make playlist, and it's on the channel homepage. Have you ever considered making an actual building? E.g., I live in a ranch-style house with a flat roof, and I've always thought it would be amusing to play a skirmish game fighting over my house. Yeah, I did that in the army, mate. It's called fighting in a built-up area. Fibwa. <laughs> No, I haven't got the money or the space to build a house. Uh, I hear you, cat. While painting, besides the train tutor, I listen to Best Smooth Jazz on YouTube. Broadcast from London. Nice. Telecaster. I can barely read my own words. Made an awesome bolt action. Uh, yeah, Mel made an awesome D-Day bolt action board. It was unreal. Needs cleaning up, to be truthful. Right. Now let's start to have a play. I think we're going to need considerably more room. Yeah. In fact, I might save this for tomorrow night, to be perfectly honest. Yeah. So that one goes there. Yeah. Uh, that tower goes there. That tower goes there. Yeah, that gantry goes there. Need to work out a step for that. That's, that's looking good. And then we've got the gantry to build on this side. Oh, do you want to see it? I thought you might want to see it. Okay, let me show you. Right. Obviously, we've got this one here. Let me move that aside without breaking anything.
Yeah. So, even further, without breaking anything. Right. So what have we got? It's a bit too big to actually see in that camera, isn't it? There we go. <coughs> yes, you can see less screen monitor. How I uh, monitor the stream and that sort of stuff. Pete, we, we've gone a little bit quieter now. Yeah, people are just chilling and relaxing into it. Yeah, right. What we got here is this is one of my feature pieces. Yeah, now obviously we've got the uh, generator. Yeah, with one of the. Yeah. And then all I've done is out of the Mantic components, I've made two sort of towers. Yeah, and then I've used the GW uh, gantry system to create a platform around it because I don't just want it to be a big piece that sits in the table. I want it to be a functional play piece. So when I look down on it, I want to see as much playable space when I look directly down on it as possible. So the idea is, and we're going to be saving this for tomorrow night's stream because it's going to be a bit of a task, but we're going to have to do pretty much all of it, is what we're going to do is we're going to sort of interconnect this into this and then through the back of here, yeah, we're going to, in fact, I'm going to have to get a base to put it on so I can spin it round for you, yeah. Uh, so we're going to do something here. I'm not quite sure what we're going to do here, but there's a lot of space back here and I think we can definitely utilize it to make something, you know, re a real feature like, if you know what I mean. Now my plan is pipe work into here, pipe work around and that sort of stuff. We'll have to see how we go on that one, to be perfectly honest. And part of me is wondering, could we move that under there a little? Or is that going to be problematic? I mean, that's pretty much set. And that will give me enough room to get a pipe down on, on there, down to something here. Really, we need to get this on a temporary base at least, don't we? I mean, what we could do is we could move this platform back to there. Put that to there. That would give us plenty of room down there and it fills in the void back here. I mean, one thing I didn't think about is, Jesus, what you could have done is put that there. Slap bang in the middle. And, no, no, you're using too much component, too many components. You've got to be careful when you do these feature builds. Yeah, uh, because one of the problems you can do is you can soak up a lot of, uh, what you call it, of uh, components. Yeah, just filling space. So you've got to be a little bit crafty and not go over the top. Yeah. Oh, Norman's thrown into the pot. Thank you, Norman. He's thrown a fiver in. There we go. I know it's working. Thank you, Norman. So that's what the, the plan for tomorrow night show is. What we're going to do is we're going to go back into this and basically connect all the pipe work up, much like we've been doing with the other pieces. Yeah, but this is obviously a grander scale. And the reason I want to do this one next is I, the three pieces that we've done tonight, yeah, were already pre-built. This is the last of the pre-built stuff, okay? Uh, use plumbing tube to form up a series of tri-f pipes going out the front. Yeah, I could do something like that. Not go over the top. Never with our mel. <laughs> hey, I hear you, Norman, but thank you anyway, buddy. Or rise it so it's level. The, the plan is to rise it so it's level, because I think that would be an easy fix, to be truthful. Yeah, in truth, what I should have done, and what I might do, is unclip these, drop these down, and drop the platform. But I think because they're glued on now, I'm going to have to watch what basically go in with the jeweler's saw and cut them off. Because I think it'd be a lot better if that we don't have this step up on it, if you know what I mean. There's like a step up. Looking good, Mel? Yeah, yeah, we're getting there. It's definitely getting there, and where I want it to be. 
Yeah, it's just that's going to be our task for tomorrow. Yeah, because I don't want to start delving into it night because this is going to be a full build on tomorrow. It's going to take about two hours for me to cut everything, glue it, get it on place, fix it in a, a what? So it should look pretty good, I reckon, if we can pull it off. If we can pull it off, that's the key thing. Right, let me put this over here. Save that there. So we've got three buildings. This will be our fourth. And then we'll have to start looking at what we've got left and what we can do with it. I reckon out of everything I've got, we can, we can probably knock together at least another four or five pieces, I reckon. Good pieces. That's the plan. Yeah, but it needs some griblies. Yeah, yeah. What I do is I get the basic construction done first. So I know I can build the piece out of the compo major components I've got. And then I gribbly it up once it's actually fixed on the base. Yeah, now obviously we've got this interesting situation where I've got to undercoat it before... I watch call it. Yeah. Gribbling it up is going to get a bit interesting. We're going to have to figure out this one because with it being industrial and with pipe work, it presents a, a different set of challenges than normal. Right. Tell you what, let's do it that way. Yeah, put that on there. So, there's a lot of potential with that. A lot of potential. Uh, face down. There we go. Now, Restream has played up on the chat, so it means our Facebookers and our Twitchers now control the on-screen chat. There'll be a flood of messages now. It needs dials and control elements. Yeah, I agree. I agree. <coughs> Fortunately, it's AdMech and AdMech don't do handrails. No, but there are options for doing those sort of things. So I'm not too worried about that, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, so we can do that. We have got this building done, which I'm pleased about. Yeah, and obviously the next stage will be us starting to... You know, glue various bits in place and that's a bit wonky, isn't it? There we go. Need to make this work because it doesn't quite work without looking lob lopsided. But that should do. I quite like that. You can't see it, can you? Sorry, guys. There you go. See my little trooper? You can't see him. Git. Let's go for close cam. I'm liking these cams, I've got to say. There you are. Yeah, so my little my little squaddy. And you can see what I mean about it being functional. I like my terrain so you know, there's plenty of play options with it. Even though it looks big and complicated and that sort of stuff. I like the Mantic Stairs because those two are functional. Yeah, your models do stand on them without falling over. Properly stand on them. Very clever, Ronnie. Very clever. Yeah, so that's really nice. Yeah, let me bring it in. Just so you can have a quick peek. It's going to focus. There you are. So yeah, you can see where we're going with this. Sorry, guys. Oh. Yeah, you can certainly see where, hey, what you call it, we're going with this and I'm liking it. It's going to be a good table because all the scatter pieces are a decent size. When you get, when you see a lot of kill team tables, they'll have something like that. 
Yeah, and they'll just like stick it on a table with a pipe coming out. And in truth, there's not much line of sight blocking on something like this. But a piece like this, all of this is line of sight blocking. You know, so there's, a, there's a lot of what you call it, uh, a lot of functionality on it. Looking good, seeing forward to paint these up. Will you airbrush mostly? A lot of it will be airbrushing just because it's quick and easier. Yeah. Antinotities have various bits that could be added. Screens, power supplies. Yeah, but I've also got those in uh, Ronnie's terrain crate as well. In Mantic's terrain crate stuff. So I've got plenty of those. I'm looking forward to the reactor room with those skulls. It would probably be an eye-catching centrepiece. Yeah, we'll have to see what we can do with those, to be perfectly honest. Are those mesh railings from the Mantic set? Yes, they are, mate. Thanks, Norman. It is looking great, A lot, as well as the other pieces. So we'll get that big piece finished tomorrow. Yeah, uh, we'll take that on as a task. Can I make that window a little bit bigger? That one. Because that's okay, isn't it? That's a bit better. We're always tweaking, aren't we? So yeah. Uh, three pieces so far, four with that. I reckon we're easily going to get another four or five out of all of that lot. Easy. Yeah, so we're getting quite a terrain density on the table. Yeah, I don't know if it's six by four yet, but it's definitely brilliant for Kill Team. Definitely. Right, folks, I am going to, well, let me go back to the normal screen. I'm quite happy with my progress today, to be perfectly honest, folks. Yeah, those cameras don't have zoom capability. They do, but I didn't want to mess around with zooms and that sort of stuff. Yeah, we'll have a play in due course. Right, guys, listen, I hope you've enjoyed us actually gluing and doing stuff. Yeah, instead of me just clipping and rambling. There's going to be more of this construction stuff over the next couple of days. Yeah, and then I'll be nipping into the studio and I'll be bringing my airbrush back along with my mask and everything like that. And, you know, I'm going to start base coating these things up. Yeah, so, yeah, Rita needs to be able to zoom in and out with a remote. I think that's very true, but I don't have a remote and Rita is what well, one standard only. No zoom zoom. <laughs> but we'll have to roll with it. Right, guys. So the battle plan is I'm going to be back tomorrow at nine o'clock. We'll be working on the big beast there. Yeah. And connecting that all up and bringing that to life. Yeah. As a task. Uh, other than that, I've had a cracking show. Now tell me if you have had a cracking show, can I get a hell yeah in the comments? Come on, I know you've been sitting there just listening along and not commenting, but it's 10 characters, well, it's 10 taps. Hell, space, yeah, return. Give me a hell yeah, let me know that it's worth me doing these streams, guys. I see them coming in. See what the smile you put on my face? And you see, these are all the people. These are the people who don't chat normally. Yeah, yeah we, you can be part of the chat, you know. I know you're busy painting and doing your thing and probably watch, you know, cooking tea and that sort of stuff. That's cool. Don't worry. But when you're ready to chat, come on in. The water's lovely. And with that, Mel's going to have an eclair because Mel got eclairs earlier. Right, guys, I'm going to love you and leave you. I will see you soon. Nine o'clock tomorrow night. In the meantime, remember, folks, the world may be having a drama, but just stay sen sensible. That was almost good. Just stay sensible. Yeah. And keep calm and crack on. Catch you later, guys. Where's the end? Stream start, stream end.